Hello, my name is Kate Allen. I'm Director of Amnesty International in the UK and it is a great pleasure to be with the Scarborough Group today. Amnesty International is a movement of ordinary people who stand up for justice. There are over three and a half million of us around the world, over 200,000 here in the UK. Uh, we are absolutely a membership organisation and we exist to make sure that human rights are respected uh, in all countries of the world. So we have a lot of work that we are involved in. We have just under 300 local groups. We have groups in uh, practically every university in the UK and we have about 500 groups in schools. So when you add them all up, we have something like a thousand groups in towns and villages and cities across the UK. Our groups are just amazing. They do so much. They know their MPs, so they can lobby their MPs. And when we were working to get Syrian uh, refugees here to the UK, our members from their groups contacted 645 MPs out of the 650 that there are. And that's how we won uh, that particular campaign. Our groups also get involved in fundraising. They also, which is hugely important because we exist on uh, the money that our members uh, give us and that they raise from other people. Um, they also are very much involved in awareness raising. So on uh, the streets and squares and uh, shopping centres uh, around the country, our members will have stores. They'll be talking to people about the work of Amnesty uh, and talking to them about human rights. So they are the lifeblood of the organisation. So it's really important to us that we have vibrant local groups and that people join those groups and uh, are active within them. It is uh, brilliant what they do. They do most extraordinary things. At Amnesty, we've been going through some big changes in uh, how we organise ourselves. We have moved a significant amount of our resources to the Global South to make sure that as Amnesty, we are as, in present, we are as present in the South uh, as we are in the Northern Hemisphere. So uh, that means that in the last two years we've opened uh, uh, sections in Brazil and in India. We've moved uh, some of our research staff from London uh, to hubs in Africa and Asia and Latin America. Uh, and that means that as Amnesty we will be closer to where human rights abuses are taking place. We'll be able to mobilise uh, and involve members from within those countries and we'll have greater influence on those governments too. So we want to have the same ability to influence the government of India uh, as we do to influence the government, government of Britain. For local groups, what we're going to uh, look to see what we can develop is building those uh, contacts and relationships between groups here in the UK and our members uh, in other countries. So that's something that we'll be starting to look at and work on in the coming months and years. For example, if um, the group in Scarborough had um, somebody from India that they were working on, we could look to see how we could link our members here uh, in Scarborough with those members in India working on that case. Um, we're at early days of that, but that is, is, I think, the brilliant vision that we should strive for. In five years' time, I would very much hope that Amnesty would have as many members in the Global South as we have in the Global North. I would hope that we would have the kind of influence with the Indian government, the Brazilian government, that we have with the UK government. I would hope that we are closer to human rights defenders in many different parts of the world and that they feel the practical support of Amnesty uh, when they are doing the extraordinarily brave things that they do. And I would hope that as Amnesty we have been able to build the community of our membership globally so that members here in the UK felt really connected to members in other parts of the world. The history of Amnesty is that we were founded in the UK. Uh, we have very strong sections in Europe, North America, Australia, New Zealand, um, but we ha and we have small sections in many parts of the developing world. But we haven't uh, had the kind of membership in the Global South that we've had in the North. Of our three and a half million members, uh, the vast majority of those will be in the Global North at the moment. We are section in India had a petition uh, on one of our campaigns. It's a campaign to get justice for um, what, uh, in Sri Lanka for what happened at the end of the civil war there, where uh, that government massacred uh, many people at the end of that civil war, and there has been no uh, justice for that. They had a, um, a petition, justice for Sri Lanka, and they got over two million signatures 
in India for that petition. Now I know those are signatures, that's not uh, people out on the streets being active, but it is a brilliant start. Uh, and I think that as Amnesty we should seek to have a membership in India, Brazil and other places that really reflects uh, Amnesty globally and that we can bring that together so that we can become a movement of many more millions than we are at the moment. So I think it's about building on all the brilliant work that Amnesty has done, taking it to the next stage which is to have that presence uh, in uh, many parts of the world where we haven't been present, to engage activists in our work, to be able to influence those governments, to be able to get the human rights change that we see as so necessary and to be able to bring a community of activists and human rights activists together across the entire globe.